In this video, we will be discussing about cryptogenic organizing pneumonia (COP). First of all, clinical features. Age group is 50 to 60 years. It is diagnosed in this age group or after this age group. Present as subacute flu-like illness with cough, dyspnea, fever, and fatigue. So it is often mistaken for pneumonia right and it is also seen post infectious in many of the cases that there is a history of preceding uh, upper respiratory or lower respiratory infection and after that the signs and symptoms of cop appear it can be primary when it occurs in isolation or it can be secondary when it is associated with connective tissue diseases some drugs or underlying malignancy what are the hrct findings see hrct is diagnostic in this uh, entity based on the uh, you know clinical signs and symptoms you cannot diagnose exactly what is happening you will be mistaken for uh, community acquired pneumonia because signs and symptoms mimic uh, community acquired pneumonia so we have to do hrct what you will find in hrct is there is presence of subplural opacities the word here to be remembered is subplural where do the opacities lie in the subplural region what kind of uh, why do these opacities occur because of consolidation and remember there are two features of consolidation they are patchy they are migratory for example, in one CT, HRCT, you will find that the opacities are near the hilum. And after one week, if you repeat CT, you will find that it is in the peripheral zone. That is more lateral. And in next CT, you will find it somewhere else. So it is migratory. It is neat. It is to be remembered. There are ground glass opacities. Means opacities in between neither radio opaque nor completely radio translucent or, or you know it is kind of in between uh, opacity in which you can see bronchovascular markings third is the atoll sign which is diagnostic of uh, this cryptogenic organizing pneumonia also known as reverse halo sign what you will see is that it is the bronchiole in the bronchiole, you will find central ground glass opacity. There will be a peripheral rim of sparing. That there is, there will be no, uh, you know, opacity. It will be spared. And then there will be another region of opacity. It is called as peribronchiolar opacity. Right. These three findings will uh, form a sign which is known as atoll sign or reverse halo sign means there is halo but around this halo there is again again an opacity which is peribronchiolar opacity and the combination is called as atoll sign reverse halo sign histopathological examination two things need to be remembered patchy consolidation it is not diffuse remember it is patchy you will see it either perihilar or more towards the periphery and obviously these are subplural only second is the mason bodies mason bodies are polypoid plugs of loose organizing connective tissue within the respiratory bronchiole not with but within within the respiratory bronchioles alveolar ducts and even alveoli right so there will be polypoid plugs of loose organizing connective tissue which is known as mason bodies patchy consolidation and mason bodies are two findings that you will see in this case treatment start with steroids if they fail you can give cyclophosphamide or azathioprine these are cytotoxic drugs if they fail you give rituximab which is anti-CD20. 
biological right so this is the treatment steroids cytotoxic rituximab to recap cryptogenic organizing pneumonia age group 50 to 60 subacute flu like illness which can be mistaken for pneumonia can be primary occurring uh, when it occurs in isolation can be secondary as well with ctds drugs malignancy hrct will show subpleural opacities ground glass opacities and a toll sign histopathological examination patchy consolidation mason bodies within the respiratory bronchioles treatment steroids cytotoxic rituximab one after the other that is all Thank you for your patient listening.